All right, everybody, stocks by the numbers. Welcome back. Quick update here. Fubo TV Incorporated, ticker symbol FUBO, listed here on the New York Stock Exchange. This is a company that, again, is still kind of in this long-term descending wedge, basically since we topped out here uh, about a week before Christmas, almost, it looks like. And we've dropped down, and then we chunked down around here on the news of that joint venture, if you recall, ESPN, Discovery, Fox, apparently teaming up to do exactly what Fubo is doing. They file the antitrust lawsuit. And, you know, there, there are random speculative op-ed articles coming out like, oh, should, you shouldn't bank on this uh, lawsuit, you know, the Fubo stock kind of sucks. And I appreciate where they're coming from, because if we look at certain metrics, we can see, like, the assets have been slowly coming down, the book value is down, it's actually sub $1 right now for Fubo. But at the end of the day, if we're looking at the subscriber growth, the revenue growth, and also, this is interestingly enough... Uh, first of all, according to Finviz, this is showing about almost 21.5% short float, but also, if we come down here, this was an interesting article that came out that I honestly wasn't aware of. This came out back after the company posted earnings about a month ago, and the headline reads, Fubo exceeds audience attention benchmarks for streaming platforms, linear TV, according to attention data. So if we switch over here, this was this article here, and we can see uh, among viewers aged 25 to 54 content on Fubo captured 33% more attention than cable, 70% more attention than typical VMVPD norms. And if we look at this graph here, we can see that over cable, general CTV app norms, we can see that the retention, 33, 34, 43% more, 53% more, 70% more. So apparently when these ads are actually coming up on Fubo, viewers are more engaged and apparently more inclined to even interact with those ads and maybe go check them out. And obviously what that should technically lead to is significantly more ad revenue coming in for Fubo over time, in my opinion, because obviously if you're paying attention to my ad more or potentially engaging with it more than on another platform or another service, then I'm probably going to invest the bulk of my advertising dollars into where I'm getting the most results, right? So I'm probably going to keep pumping up the, the ad money going into the Fubo platform. But as we see here, ads on Fubo uh, outperform the average attention of other ads across cable, CTV, fast apps, MV pd ad norms by 50 percent again we can see 20 35 37 50 percent more so this is technically very very good in my eyes uh t vision tv vision tv vision anyway uh company measuring every second of viewer engagement Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. announced fubo ads outperform average attention span among 24 to 54 year olds uh than all other benchmarks. Fubo audiences are more engaged and attentive than other CTV and linear audiences. Uh, reported significant differences in how viewers in the coveted 25 to 54 year old range pay attention to and engage with Fubo content and ads compared to norms. Uh, viewers are at least 23% more likely to be in the room for Fubo programming than other benchmark categories, including cable and all categories of CTV. Uh, among the same demo, 33% more attention than cable, 70% more. Attention is the next wave of CTV ad measurement, uh, TV vision, TV vision, whatever. Uh, valuable partner at the forefront. Mm, study found that Fubo is a leader in commanding audience attention among our competitive set and linear TV, reinforcing the value of our highly engaged audience and premium live sports and entertainment content. Fubo advertisers are already benefiting from the live TV uh, streaming platform's attention advantage. In fact, a major CPG brand saw as much as 67% increase in attention on Fubo compared to other CTV apps where, it, where its ads ran. So you, you understand what I'm saying? If you're telling me I'm going to see 30, 50, 70 percent more engagement and more attention to my ads when I'm running them on Fubo as opposed to whatever, you know, Disney Sports or Venue is apparently this new streaming service that this joint venture is teaming up. It's going to be called Venue. And of course, we don't have pricing yet. We don't know exactly when it's going to be launched. But I love how just the news of it being launched 
Remember, just the news of it being launched, and then, of course, people awaiting this antitrust lawsuit, that is what's been keeping Fubo down here in this wedge now at the low $1 range. And I know a lot of people recently are kind of beating up the stock and they're saying, oh, no, well, this number looks bad or, you know, subscribers aren't, they weren't growing whatever they were expecting, right? 26% or whatever it was. It was it was a pretty big number. But Fubo, I think, still posted uh, 20 plus percent somewhere around there. But just remember this, before that recent news came out about this, you know, new BS app where they're all teaming up to take on Fubo, and of course, this lawsuit, just remember that we we initially saw the stock almost at the low of the lows when we first started looking at it at about a dollar a share, and it was bouncing around for a little while. And then the company started to turn around those losses. They started to come in above EPS estimates. And of course, the revenue has been growing very, very nicely quarter over quarter and even year over year. So the company itself seems to be growing. And a lot of uh, certain fundamentals like the gross profit, the operating income, like a lot of these numbers are trending in the right direction and getting closer and closer to positivity, <clears throat> which I believe they were saying is going to happen uh, potentially in 2025, if memory serves correct. So again, before the, these recent n negative headlines supposedly came out, the stock also went up to almost $4 a share on its own merits on two separate occasions. I, I just want you to keep that in mind because I know people looking at what's happening recently and the fact that it's just kind of trending downward and they forget that we found it here and then it exploded, pulled back a little bit to sub two, consolidated, boom, and then exploded up again to new highs of almost $4 a share. So again, you know, we can't completely beat the company up, but uh yeah you know yeah, yep, 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 yep. ads on fubo outperform the average attention of other ads across cable fubo ads outperform vmvpd ad norms by 50 percent uh fubo should be proud of their ability to capture attention from viewers advertisers recognize the impact of high attention apps and programming and they are placing a premium value on the opportunity to reach more engaged viewers the data shows fubo is a strong investment for advertisers looking to connect with sports fans and beyond this year so th th this is what i mean that this is why in my opinion i think that not only technically the ad revenue should stay consistent but it should also continue to increase quarter over quarter and year over year. And of course, if they really are at the forefront of ad engagement and they're kind of like setting the new standard now and they're the go-to service for ads, then it, it really should only be on the up and up in my eyes. And hopefully a lot of those fundamentals will start to get less and less negative, get closer to black, or potentially go positive, and obviously that would help out the stock as well and, and continue momentum, add new value. But in my opinion, uh, I still say, uh, realistically, we should honestly be back like here. We should be at like two and a third. We should be back at this trend line, almost where we chunk down, because again, I don't think it's launching that new app, uh, the joint venture app. I don't think it's launching till I think maybe February of next year or something. So, I mean, that's still eight months away, right? So even if people are potentially looking for that new app, they still can't use that service for another eight months. And then interestingly enough, you know, the pricing hasn't been released yet or anything like that. So for all we know, as I mentioned originally in, in one of my videos, when the news came out, now you have three mouths to feed, right? You have ESPN, you got Discovery, and you have Fox, as opposed to just having a company of Fubo behind the service. So now they might actually, you know, they're making it seem like they're the next four, they're, you know, they're the next front person in, in, the, in the sector for sports streaming. But at the end of the day, because you have three mouths to feed, you're probably going to have to charge the same, if not more than what Fubo is charging, right? Because everyone needs to get paid now. So that's why, in my opinion, I'm really viewing this as multiple negatives for those companies and more of positives for Fubo. But that's just me. But on the technical side, we can see we're still in this long-term uh, descending wedge here again. This is going from the top there of December 14th, 23. That's when it started selling off and just, boom, connecting across the tops of those candles. And I went from the bottom before it spiked to that top there. 
that was uh, right after earnings. We had we had the big pop, then we had the drop, and I went from there and just cut down, connecting the bottom of those trend lines. So we can see we're in this long-term descending wedge, and we're close to the apex. I'm not exactly sure when we're going to get this ruling. Some people were saying August, others were saying maybe September. So honestly, I'm really not sure. But at the end of the day, we do have earnings coming up, uh, looking like about the first couple of days of August, going to be the first week of August. So that's about seven weeks away. And unfortunately, we can possibly continue to channel down, which of course would bring us uh, back to about a dollar, sub one dollar maybe, basically where we started when we first looked at it. And uh, hopefully if these earnings are good, that can be the catalyst to potentially pop them out back into the ones and try to rally back into the twos. Or also, once we get the ruling on that lawsuit, hopefully if it goes Fubo's way, that's really going to explode the stock. In my opinion, that should actually immediate pop, immediately pop it up to new highs, believe it or not. Because again, the company hit new highs and almost hit $4 uh, on two different occasions on its own merits, right? So now if we're going back to the same company, right, before all this nonsense happened, then it should be, in my opinion, go back to at least, you know, three and a half realistically then if they beat earnings again we should see new highs of four dollars right so so that's why i'm saying you know a lot of people are beating it up now but i feel like once the storm clears and again even if they happen to lose the lawsuit technically they're growing their subscribers we just looked at that ad revenue uh that ad attention article growing revenue growing subscribers I, I still like it. I, I do have to be honest. I, I do still like it. And if we look, okay, I didn't want to do that. I did not want to do that. There we go. But if we look here on stock charts real quick, and I'll let you go, we can see also the RSI basically, or both of them are basically almost at that 30 benchmark. Uh, we did come down and hit new lows here of 114. <clears throat> it does look like the MACD is potentially crossing to the downside. However, we recently touched and then bounced up a little bit. So we technically haven't crossed till we crossed. Bottom Bollinger Band 113. So we can potentially continue to see, you know, a couple of cent drops here and see new lows. RSI here, 35 and a half on the daily. Switch over to the weekly and we can see the RSI is at 30. Now, last time it did kind of continue to drop down hard, but then it went on a, a pretty nice a pretty nice rise on the RSI, even though the stock continued to drop down. But again, if you recall, this was after a reverse stock split and the company was taking on much more water, uh, dealing with significantly more losses back here at the time than opposed to where they are here, which is why I still say, in my opinion, this is just an overreaction and they're just, and I think everyone's just waiting for the storm to clear and then it's probably going to... Uh, climb back up in value and something like this moving average here of about two and a quarter really should be a layup in my opinion but uh i do think over time i i think it i think it will step i really do think it will step higher macd relatively flat here on the weekly again rsi at 30 and we'll check pivot points real quick this already went on longer than i wanted it to we're below 147 and i don't know where that aid came from but we switch back here and we can see next support level 107 right so uh again we could <clears throat> excuse me we could potentially keep stepping down and like drop down to this bottom trend line and make new lows but then the rsi is probably going to be overextended and then boom you might have a pop kind of back to the range basically back where we are maybe like 116 you know 120 or something but it, it needs a catalyst to pop out of this wedge it seems like and right now it looks like everyone's waiting on the lawsuit and if not then we're just going to kind of hang out for the next seven weeks and hopefully beat this top and bottom line estimate and then pop out but that's pretty much it so i'm gonna end it there once again stocks by the numbers thank you so much for stopping by if you have any uh, questions comments or concerns drop it down in the comment section i'm usually very quick to reply thumbs up algorithm helps me get more eyes on the channel right and of course subscribe to the channel that is our handshake agreement that is how you help me help you but more importantly moving forward like i always say i understand markets are rocky they're volatile it's very uncertain sometimes so I want to wish all of you success. Hope everyone makes a couple of dollars. Have a good day, guys.